Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of my Legendary Weapons series. Um, this is going to be a weird episode um, because today I'll be hunting for the Thunderball Fist, which is a Legendary Weapon dropped by Captain Flint. But um, let me show you the map. I spawn right here and to get to Captain Flint you have to, let me try to zoom out. Can I do that? You have to go all the way through here, go all the way around multiple times, and loop back to that. And that takes a very long time. But um, there's also another way you can get the Thunderball Fist, which is from his son, Sparky Flint, in a DLC. So I'm going to be farming him because he's much quicker to kill. So I'm gonna show the both routes, both sped up though, um, just so you can see both ways to find the drop. So I'm going to speed it up from here. So I'll probably do like four times speed or something like that, and then I'll cut back to here. But here's Captain Flint all the way at the end of Southern Shelf. Um, he can drop the no. Thunderball Fist, which is an always electric Maui One pistol. That was awesome. um, and he did not drop it. I'm gonna open this chest real quick, just cause why not. Um, but now, he did not drop it. So now I'm going to show you the Sparky Flint route. I'm also going to speed that up to, um, actually, I'm not going to speed that up. I'm going to explain why I have to use my siren. So, um, sadly, I have to use my siren for this because, um, the DLC that, uh, Sparky Flint is in, I do, I have not finished with my, um, with my Gunzerker, so I cannot farm it. And the bad part that I have to use my um, Siren is, is she's not maxed out. She's only at overpower level 5, and maxed out is overpower level 8. So it's either waste an hour to um, to beat this DLC with my Gunzerker, waste like 3 or 4 hours getting my siren up to OP level 8, which I'm going to do anyways, but well, I'm just recording this in order, so I don't want to have to do that. And then, um, and the last choice is just to get an OP, lo OP 5 um, Thunderball Fist, um, which is the option that I'm going with. So because it's only overpower level 5 and not 8, that means its stats are not going to be as high as they can be. Um, and the enemies aren't going to be as hard as they can be, but, um, I'm just showing the drops and stuff, so. Uh, but the Thunderball Fist is a really good gun, um, a really, really good gun for ripping off shields, and it honestly can do pretty good against anything else, too, because it's shock, it rips off shields really quickly. And, yeah, so, Sparky Flint is just down this hole. As you can see, it's much shorter. I think this is about the same time. It took about a minute to get here. And it took about four and a half minutes to get to uh, Captain Flint. So it'll probably be about the same length as the run to Captain Flint when I put it at four times speed. Oh, my voice cracked. Um, but he spawns here. Fucking, since I'm a siren, it's just really easy to put him in a ball and fuck him up. 
pretty bad. If he gets a high drop, he'll do you drop it for me man? On the first try? First try? First try? First try? No, he did not drop it on the first try. But now you know both of the courses to get there. So, I'll see you when I get the drop. Seven minutes uh, to get this gun, but that's all right. Um, I I kind of enjoyed it. And I'm not as mad as I was about the Kerr Blaster, cause uh, yeah. So we ended up, even though we're an OP level five, you can get uh, lower level weapons, which really sucks. And um. We got lucky the first three times we did it on OP level 8. We got all OP level 8 drops. Um, but here we have gotten an OP level 4 drop on OP level 5. So we got a, low, a level lower. So the stats are going to be even lower. But that's quite alright. Um, so let's go back to the... Uh, let me write it down real quick. Uh, what time I ended up getting the drop? Did I? I think I already said time. It's been 38 minutes, pretty much. Oh, let me write it out for me later to make easier editing. And uh, let's go ahead and, and inspect this bad boy. It is at uh, 254,000 damage. 94.5 accuracy. 2.8 fire rate. 2.4 reload speed. 14 magazine size. 1.2 million shock damage, electrocute chance is 19.2, and the red weapon text says, I can have such a thing. This pistol is kind of a monster, so basically its special thing is, it's really powerful, and then you can see, it shoots up, watch, if I hit him, it shoots up and hits another little electricity ball that f comes and falls down back on him. Now... The only reason you're seeing um, corrode damage, it's a shock only weapon, but the reason you're seeing corrode damage is because of an ability that I have on my siren. So uh, this kind of sucks. So if we go ahead and just pop his head right off, four, you'll see 1486 on the crit with just the shock damage and then all the corrode damage from my ability. So let's see if we can get another crit, wait for these numbers to get out of the way. 1486k and then the, the ball itself does 327k so this thing is kind of a monster when it comes to damage so yeah that's episode what four of the legendary weapon series um thank you <laughs>